All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're back here again, doing some Yellow Assault Reno, and I just got Vulcan. Um, my other diamond, or my other rank ten uh, god. <laughs> so, uh, comp wise, this looks uh, pretty good. We have the ladies featuring Vulcan. Um, it seems pretty solid, honestly. We have a good mix of damage now. Their team's a lot of physical, which could be a problem, but. Uh, yeah, see you guys in game. Alright, so we're in game here. Uh, let's check out the team comps real quickly. They have three physical, two magical. Uh, they don't have, like, their Fenrir would have to build kind of like a bruiser. There'd be, that's like their main initiator. We have Bologna on our side. Uh, this should be actually a fairly solid match. So let's go into the build real quick. Let's go into Chronos Pendant, uh, Meditation Rank 1. And then let's go into some uh, let's go into some potions. No, we should go into beads uh, because of the whole thin reaction that takes up all of our gold. So what I'm looking to do here is kind of hopefully prevent the Finner from initiating on us. Um, if he picks up Blink, then I can't really prevent him initiating. But if I can place my my meatballs in my turret pretty well, then I should be able to fin them off. But they have two ADC, so if this gets to late game. We might be in a bit of a trouble because I don't think Bologna is enough to hold him back uh, as far as being the tank. And, and, and okay. the same point with Kronos and also Scylla. So they have a really late game oriented team comp. So hopefully we can prevent them from getting to late game and beat it in the early stage of the game or mid game. And we should be good to go. Our team comp, we're good late game because we have New Wall Medusa and also Freya. Uh, Vulcan does pretty good poke damage throughout the entire game, so I should be good to go. Uh, Bologna should be fine as well. Uh, I almost ran into that. So, <laughs> let's try to try to pay attention here and, uh, and get to get to killing, hopefully. Get the meatballs to the face. So, I'm not actually expecting to get too many kills. Uh, my experience with Vulcan, when, get him, when getting him to rank 10, is Vulcan doesn't really get too many uh, kills. He's more of just uh, throw meatballs out on your face like that and just get damage off. Uh, some would call Vulcan doing fake damage. You know, you do damage and they just kind of heal it back up or they go to base. That was actually pretty dank bank shot there by, uh, who oh, Jesus. Uh, Bologna might be on tilt after that. And and here's yeah he went blink so uh, that's that's gonna be a problem. Was, oh my god, the CC is unreal. So hopefully that can kind of prevent a body block for for Bologna so he won't get hit there. Get some 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 damages there. Ah, uh, you know, <laughs> Sniped. All right, the Vulcan snipes are real, but so is the Chronos poke damage. Uh, Chronos, he can easily counter me with that. I think it's called Time Rift. Uh, ooh. There we go. Some poke damage. Got some poke damage off. I was kind of afraid of the Who Yeezus. Damn! <laughs> oh. Who Yeezy is is on fire there. Yeah. Oh my god, Soul Reaver this early on Kronos? Damn. Oh, there we go. Good good trades off there. Good trades. Good trades. I kind of mentioned this in my tutorial video, uh, probably like a month ago. He keeps trying. Uh, is that don't try to walk backwards backpedaling because you always move slower backpedaling than moving forward. So... If you see something like that, it's kind of best to like kind of turn your camera away so you can move faster in that position you're, you're looking at. Uh, so he has blink, he has blink one. So that's three minute. I think it's a three minute uh, cooldown timer on that. So that's pretty good. We have some breathing room. He's back again. Try to get the meatball. Uh, I did not land the meatball. Always stand still with the shiplock ultimate. Uh, kind of sad he didn't get the kill there. Kronos is going for my dingling for days, dude. I think that's a really bad Vulcan ultimate. I got I got some damage off when not a complete waste. Good. Man. Ah, man. Sometimes it can be really tricky trying to land your one as Vulcan, honestly. I haven't played Vulcan since the Vulcan Grind Mastery series. Which that's on my channel as well, of course. 
Uh, so they're pretty low, right? Now, this is where our new wall is going to come in handy for situations like this. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish there. I could have just pressed my one, he would have been dead. Or if you try to pull me in, I have my beads, so nothing he could really do there. He's probably just trying to die on purpose so he can go back. So we're just going to keep up the pressure here, and we should be good to go. Uh, we can use this to our advantage, maybe get some damage. Yeah. Get some more poke damage. That's all really Vulcan tries to do is get some poke damage, kind of wear them out, preventing them from uh, getting some aggression. All right, so we can use the stealth to our advantage, maybe Look for a sick. Uh, <laughs> my my throw arm isn't um, that good. Hopefully, you guys don't hear my my Skype going off. That's kind of embarrassing. The meatballs still still <laughs> still sniped him. Uh, so that's really good for my part. I was able to land that. And he's gonna go for me. I'm gonna pop the preemptive beads. Oh, jeez. Okay. Stop moving. Don't get stunned. Get some strafes going. Throw a meatball myself. I like to do that. So if you're like running away as Vulcan, just kind of throw the meatball on yourself. And then you can. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Please, <laughs> spare me. Oh my! Thankfully, he landed all those because my aim was horrible on that. Absolutely ferocious, fer ferociously bad. If I can even speak, Kronos is going in for the kill. Maybe. Wow. So that was some really sick aggression. I don't think I'll be living too long, but that's good because I have a good amount of money to spend. Uh, yeah, I'm not, yeah. Like I said, there's nothing I can really do there, so I don't really feel too bad about that. Alright, so next I'm gonna be going into the Shoes of Magi looking for penetration. Uh, I'm looking to do as much poke damage as I can possible. Got the Salvation, uh, cause I'm a team player, and going with the full Purification Beads. Uh, so my actions are done. I needed those uh, full Purification Beads just because I don't want to be uh, just farmed out by the Fenrir. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for there and also they have a lot of CC so it's always good to have the full purification beads get going uh, So yeah, let's see if we can make something here Heal, heal the group real quick New wall doing pretty good being front line oh, That's the thing about going in on Shibalanka. He can just leap out of my meatball Though the Kronos, the Kronos has a grudge against me. I don't know why he keeps trying to poke me out But it hasn't been working too for his benefit. Oh, man. oh man. That was actually really rough. That's the thing, they have really good initiation with the Shiblanke ultimate and then the Fenrir jump. He's gonna take damage for no reason. Ah oh, dang, I gotta hit out. Oh no. I can't even get hit by that. Man, oh, can we get, get both kills, please? Don't let him get away, don't let him get away. Please, please, please. One more auto, one more auto. Oh. Wow. That was rough. That was rough. We had a really good beginning. Uh, the thing is, is trying not to get too greedy here. We have the Chronos Room Mind coming out there. I was kind of surprised Bologna was not able to get that Fender in the back lines with that ultimate. Uh, oh, oh, good banish. That, that was good. Good plays there. So, what I feel needs to... Oh, man, that was... Come on. I'm afraid that hit. I saw that from a mile away. Why would you do that? Alright, well, I mean, at least if we don't wipe, we just need to be all together at once and, and, and just fight as a group. It seems like... They're just trying to pick us off when we're not together in group. Uh, easy, easy pick there. Uh, just, they did the same mistake as Freya did, is get too close to somebody that can easily poke you out like that and get the kill. Uh, so we just need to wait here. They're trying to bait us out, which Bologna's kind of falling for the bait. Yeah, yeah, definitely be careful because, yeah, see, if you'd have landed that, that would be game over. We just need to wait because, honestly, Bologna is basically dead. Uh, that was kind of pointless. Honestly, just need to wait. 
Because what what Fenric Fenric can blink in right now, pick up Bologna, bring him back, and the two ADCs can easily burn down Bologna. See, yeah, we just need to we just need to sit back here, which is honestly kind of hard to do in assault, right? It's so easy to fall for the bait and assault and actually get sucked in. So now they're going to initiate. They want to kill Bologna here. Yep, called it. He's going to try to aggress onto me. I'm going to pop my ultimate, make, maybe get some some damage off. No damage at all. But I got some damage off on the Huyi. Heal up Freya here. Clear his minions. Yeah, see, I, I poked out Freya. I mean, uh, Kronos again. When he tried to poke me out. Oh, that was a good meatball. Ah, uh, I wasn't able to get land a meatball. So, yeah, so right now we're getting a little cocky here. We just need to sit back and get some farm up. Uh, we are like 2k behind in gold, so we just need to just look for the farms. And be good to go from there. Hopefully you guys don't get too dizzy when I throw the meatball because I for some reason just I I throw the camera up and then I throw it. <laughs> just so I can assure I get max range. A new wall ultimate, not too necessary. Honestly, I would like to see the new wall ultimate kind of save for after team fights when they're really low. Uh, because the new ultimate does have a long cooldown and he has he has crow in his pendant, so mediocre cooldown reduction. Almost got that poke. Scylla's looking for some poke damage. She's gonna clear the wave. Yeah. Alright, so hopefully we can kinda like tire them out into they just kinda uh, rush into us and we can fight underneath our tower. We need we need our see that oh that was good. Dang dude. He is just <laughs> Cronus is on point. Fighting these other people, he hasn't been able. All right, here we go. Yeah. So there's nothing you can really do about that. Um, got my ultimate off on two people, which is really really good. Um, I really wanted to get <sighs> Jesus. All right, so we baited out some things here. Really good, really good, really good. Oh, that should have killed Shibalanke. Eh, too bad New Wall's dead. Group up so we can get some salvation left. That was too bad. Freya didn't want to get healed. Okay, so from, okay, or right, we got the Freya ultimate. I mean the New Wall ultimate. It didn't really do too much damage, sadly. Uh, yeah. So here we can look to aggress. Um, Sally, nobody else can really poke except me. Uh, and they're just, they're keeping their distance really good. Oh, man, that hitbox, that hitbox, though! The hitbox! <laughs> the bait is real. Okay. I guess that worked out. You, you could maybe say calculated. So, whoop, oh, that, that was a good whoop there. Really good. Yes, really good. Okay. Like I said, there. If I would have like backtracked, like backpedal, I would have died there. But I just kind of walked off this side. Uh, I wow, I saw your Cronus with that. Oh damn! I I don't know how I got hit by that. I didn't see that coming actually. This is not looking too good for us. New Wash should be able to kill him. Uh, wow. All right then. Nice, that was a great kill. Great kill on Kronos. So, uh, the, the the trouble I I find with uh, building Vulcan is when you go into the penetration area, right? Uh, because as Vulcan, your your turret doesn't apply the Spear of Magus penetration stacks. So, and you don't have any damage over time effects, it's really hard to get those stacks on with Spear of Magus, making it kind of a hard pick. Knew why, knew why I should die here. Uh, I should be able to get damage off. Maybe I can go with the... Oh, man! It's so close. Blona should be able to easily finish this up. Uh, Sally not. Sally, that was... Uh, was not able to happen. That really sucks. Uh, but yeah, so I just went with the Obsidian Shard. Um, because uh, hopefully if we can get to the Titan, I can do tons of damage to the Titan. Um, and yeah, I can't really apply the Spear of Magus stacks, and that pretty much leaves me, leaves me with just 15 flat pin. Uh, which is not all too fantastic. Heal the guys up here. 
Oh, so yeah, we need to back up. Um, because I'm. Oh man. The dude's just really trying to get the kills. Man, that's, that's really rough. Yeah, see, this is when the frustration kicks in for a lot of people. Freya spamming help. I mean, there's nothing we can really do. Uh, we can't really dive onto them. That's the thing. They have basically three carries, and you don't really want to dive on three carries that are pretty well fed. Um, that's never a good look, especially when our tank is blown out and is pretty much dead at this point. So, just a frustration kick in for some people. That's the thing with assault. Um, you know, it's it's always the thing. It's like you know why you're watching when you go in on somebody, but you need to get the point of view from the, from your other teammates. You know. So got some good poke damage off on Scylla there. Uh, Sally, it's kind of hard to dive in on Kronos, right? Because he's just super strong right now. I mean, the Soul Reaver, Spear Rope, Telekines. Like, his build's actually not too great, but it just feels like Kronos can do so much. He has a really good stun, and he still does good poke damage. It's kind of like Ymir in a way. You can just kind of throw anything on him, and he'll be efficient. Kronos' movement speed is ridiculous right now. So he's really slippery. So, um, I don't know. The, that, that was good there, but it's like, can we actually do anything with it? Uh, we got that kill there. Jesus. Oh, I got some really good damage off on the Scylla. No! Please! Drop down and die! Oh, man. That's so rough. <laughs> oh, why are you saying Vulcan's still full health? I just died. What? <laughs> I mean, that's the thing you're going to get from some people. It's like, you know, you're still at full health. What are you doing? Well, it's because I'm Vulcan. I can't go on the front lines because if I go on the front lines, you're a dead Vulcan. Vulcan has no escapes. He's pretty much, you kind of sit back, get some poke damage, and, you know, things like that. So, just like I said, just frustration. Um, you should never let frustration, you know, take over your actions and, and mood. It's, it kind of brings the morale down of the team. And as soon as, like, the banter and the BM starts happening, that's when, you know, it kind of goes out of control and goes downhill. Alright, so I went ahead and picked up the Rod of Duhuti. Um The reason why I'm getting it this early is because Assault, this match specifically doesn't seem to be lasting too long, so I need a maximum amount of damage as I can possible so I can be uh, really effective. Uh, the problem we're having now is our Bologna is severely underleveled. She's level 17, and the enemy team has like level 20s for a while now. And so that really affects uh, her protections and everything like that. Uh, Finner. Hopefully, yeah, Finner can't really do much right now. Throw the meat, meatball, create some space. So, I feel like we're getting too greedy moving up too far. Oh man, see, it's just, you know, it's just repeating itself right now. No, that was a really good kill. I was able to get, create some space with the Vulcan ultimate. Oh, I was not able to land that. I went way too far. Heal up the team, we're good to go. So we're making some really good picks right here. Uh, so now, uh, we just need to finish them off, and we should be good to go. We, we need our, we need some damage off of this tower, we need to get this tower down ASAP. Good to go, got that down. Alright Freya, calm down. <laughs> so once again. I'll create some pressure with my turret. Though my turret did die. Oh, this is this is not good. Got the kill with that. Not too bad. Place that down. Now we're good to go. We're good to go. Keep on the pressure. Force out the blink. Uh, Medusa should be clearing. Yeah, okay. They got down anyway. So this is looking really good. Looking really good for us. Uh, so, 
That was kind of a, a last-ditch effort from Fenrir to get that. Um, uh, see, that's that's something I was really not looking forward to. Is that right there? Got some good damage off, but it's not gonna be enough. All right, so we need to back off. We got two. Ah, oh, damn! Ah, uh, that reached me. So what happened there is we kind of overextended. We didn't even get the Phoenix. We got two towers and we got greedy and kind of pushed for Phoenix. So that was kind of bad on our part. Uh, so hopefully. We can be back up in time before this, uh, before we lose, pretty much. Oh no, no, Bologna, why? I have Bologna just kind of just dived into Shiblanke. You never do that. That was, that was kind of a waste of, now she's down for 50 seconds. And now she's not going to be up for the team fight. So that was a really bad call. She should have just gave up the Phoenix. Your uh, yeah. Has been Watch out. Nice, nice. Over the wall. Oh, damn, I didn't even see Karnos there. Throw people over. Maybe, maybe. Yes, maybe. we can. That was good. We got to pick up Karnos. Here we go, here we go. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful comeback with just four people. Beautiful. That was really great. That's just what we needed. Uh, so the thing is, we can't end the game on this push, this push, <laughs> on this uh, this run here because they're gonna be up in time. They should be. So what we're looking from this push here is we're kind of just kind of looking to uh, get the Phoenix down, uh, and then maybe back off off there, or just fight on the Titan, which could be really really tricky. Oh, beautiful, beautiful banish. Beautiful banish. That was just fantastic. Okay, now this is where it's going to get tricky because they're going to be up really soon. So we need to burn this down uh, as quick as possible here. No, we should definitely not wait. We should definitely not be waiting. <laughs> we, uh, we need to burn this down. Uh, okay, we can't. I don't know why the other three guys are back there, but, you know, it's whatever. We can. Oh man, Bologna went in without us. Oh boy. We just need to focus. We just need to focus. There we go. We're good to go. We won! That was a really tough fight. I knew from the beginning between these team comps, it was going to be a really, uh, really good fight. You can see Kronos doing a little robot dance there. Wow, so that was uh, one hell of a match. Um, I honestly kind of thought they were going to lose that one. Uh, especially at the end there and it took us a while to come online and actually get those 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 uh, objectives but we actually did it let's take a quick look at the damage here um every, everybody did pretty good uh Bologna had some misplays there uh could have done could have done better but honestly you can't really blame her for dying that many times when you're the only a frontliner against three carries in the Scylla so just take out the builds here. I was going to work into the Soul Reaver just to maximize my burst damage and hopefully get the maximum amount of damage on the Titan because I knew it was going to um, be a matter of killing the Titan or not at the end. Uh, builds overall was pretty good. Uh, the Chronos build was actually kind of questionable. Honestly, I have no demonic grip at all. Um, I'm not really sure what, what was going on there. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, thank you guys so much. And yeah, peace.